Good afternoon. My name is Jacqueline Leo and I'm currently a graduate student at Angelo State University. This video is a class project on the limits of confidentiality in a student counselor relationship. For this video, my client is a seventh grade student, 13 years of age, and I will be briefly explaining to the student some of the limits of confidentiality. Well, hello, my name's Miss Leo. It's very nice to meet you. Before we begin today, I want to talk to you a little bit about confidentiality. I know it sounds like a big word, but basically what that means is what's stated between you and I in these sessions is strictly between you and I. You can trust that whatever we talk about will remain between you and I. But there are some limits to confidentiality, which means that there's times in which I'm obligated by law to state what is said between you and I. And I'm going to give you what some of those instances might be so that you're aware. The first is, is if I feel as though you've told me that you might harm yourself and I fear for your safety, then I will contact your guardians. I'm obligated to do so, so that you can get the help that you need. Another instance is if you reveal to me that you want to harm someone else and I fear that you will act on this then I must also contact the appropriate authorities. It could be an administrator or your legal guardians, your parents. Another is, is if you get into a situation um, where I will be court ordered to testify about some of the things that we might have talked about. Now, I'm not saying that will happen, but that is something that could happen. Another is, is if you tell me, Miss Leo, I want you to tell my parents what we talked about today then you're giving me consent to break confidentiality. And finally, if you reveal to me that you are being abused by someone in your family or someone that you know, or you're in any harm at all um, by someone else's actions, and I fear for, fear for your well-being, then um, by law I am obligated to contact Child Protective Services, CPS, and also do the appropriate steps to make sure that you're safe and that we get you taken care of. But remember, these are just situations that could happen. I'm not saying that they will. The majority of what we talk about will stay between you and I, so you can trust that we'll be able to work together to solve any problems that you might have without fear of feeling as though I'm going to run and tell. But there are instances where I am obligated to by law, and I want you to understand that before we begin. Are there any questions? Is there anything that you would like for me to clarify or something that I might have said that you didn't understand? 